Good afternoon on a very rainy day here in Central Florida. We had to start the video in the car because it's raining outside. Yeah, but we're here where we decided to try to do something that you can do on a rainy day, and that is one of our favorite activities is Top Golf. Yeah. We are not golfers at all, but we really enjoy coming to Top Golf. Well, and I also, we had asked our friends if they wanted to come and do this tomorrow, and today was better for them, so we like ran out here to meet them. Yeah. So, um,. Yeah, so that's the other reason why, because we wanted to hang out with our friends. And we do love Top Golf. And the food is delicious. Yeah. And I love food. <laughs> I feel like you can see the storm brewing behind us. Yeah, it's so bad outside. Well, but in front of us, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, I don't know which Florida. way it's going. Yeah. So let's go hit some golf balls. I like that. There it is Top Golf. Also, I think this area over here is where they're building that new Universal stuff somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's around this area somewhere. So we got here and they told us there's a 20 minute wait for level two, but we could go right into level one right now and there's nobody down here. So this will be easy. It's been a while since we've done this. So it, It's weird being on the bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it, is. it was just a line drive and then I hit the hole and just bounced right out of the hole. So I wonder if that's why we should do the top. Probably. Oh no. Jen, do you remember how to do it? No? Oh no. Just give it a nice, easy tap, tap, tap a -roo. Don't try too hard. Just give it a little tap. Now you actually have to hit the ball though. There you go, look at that. It's gonna go right in the hole. Perfect. I think so. Yeah, it says great shot, Jen. You did it. Ooh, the guy's out there cleaning up golf balls. I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> Last time I hit him on accident. I didn't mean to. No, oh, no, I mean to. No. <laughs> That's I'm my favorite. I'm around with where I stand in relation to the tee, and so I was kind of standing in front of it. Did it work? No, that's why I hit down. Oh, now he comes by. Do you think he gets like paid a lot of money because his job is dangerous? I don't think it's that dangerous. He's in a cage. I don't know. It could be dangerous. It looks fun to me. What if he accidentally went into one of the holes? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I didn't show these before we started devouring them, but we got these little pretzel bites with some mustard and some beer cheese. Now nobody's gonna believe me, but I just hit it and it went straight into the yellow hole by hitting the yellow flag. Like it hit the flag. Oh, Nana's doing it. Ooh, oh look at that. Right in the hole. Yellow. What if I want to hit it to another one? Then turn. Okay. Like, do you it. want to hit it to, to, to red? Blue. Blue, okay. Yeah, yeah, turn a little bit. Okay. So, like, point your hips at the blue one. Like oh, yeah, you're going right into red. I like it. There you go. Perfect. Oh, no, you're still going into yellow now. There you go. All right, looking good. Oh, that was fun. Almost hit you in the face. <laughs> Oh, it's almost going, it's gonna, oh, uh, it might go in the red. Oh no, it stopped, okay. We're so close, because we're on the ground level. I just wanna like run out there and push it in. Right? Don't, don't do that, that's not allowed. Oh look, I believe in you. Look at that. It, it went in the hole. I can only get it in yellow, <laughs> like my hole. You're doing great. Thanks. I got the chicken and waffle sliders with some hot syrup and some sawmill gravy or uh, sausage gravy, white gravy. What do you think? They're pretty good. I don't really like this because I didn't realize it has jalapenos in it. Oh, weird. Yeah. It's, it's sawmill gravy with jalapenos? Yeah. Huh. But these are really good. They look good. Are they spicy? No, unless oh. you put the jalapeno stuff on them. Oh, gotcha. Oh no, nobody saw that. <laughs> All right, I believe in you. I never do good when you film me. Oh no, I'm not filming you, don't worry. I'm just standing over here. Look at the Orlando eye over there. It's called the wheel. And the most in, you gotta look at the ball, not back at the club. That was amazing. You did great. It's still your turn. No, I did three already. Oh no, we have 15 minutes left. Should I extend it? Jen wanted me to show you all the different clubs. I like. I thought you guys might want to see it. I, I like how this one's the big dog and this one's the lumber. I'm gonna use the big dog. Yeah, but I'm none of the other ones have nicknames. No, these are the cool ones up here. So I'm gonna do the big dog and see if I get farther with it. I do have to admit though, this side is supposed to be the women's side and I've used these 
they're a little bit more flexible and I like them a little bit better. Is that, do they weigh less or something? I don't know, I think, to me, they were more flexible. Like, that's what was good about them to me. Oh look, the Star Flyer is up and running right now. Yeah, it's the big dog. No, I know. It, it'll it'll do it. Do I have to have on the power? Is that what it is? No, it's all in the ball. And it's true. Look at that. It's like a million miles an hour towards that red one. Here's what you do. Wait, what did I get? How many points? Oh, it's under your name. I know, because I did on yours. So here's what you do. This is what you do when you're swinging the club that you need to stop doing. Okay? You go back and you go up and then you go down when you're swinging at the ball. Just keep your hips in one spot. You don't have to go back and then hit, just go back and hit. Back up a little bit. There you go, a little bit more. More? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now bend your knees. There you go. No, no, you're good. You're a little bit forward on the ball, but I think it'll be okay. It means you're like too far that way. So no, no, like back up this way. Toward, there you go, there you go. Is that what I, did I do it again? Yeah, you still like. How do you not do that? <laughs> I think it's, do you know what it is? It's because my arm hits my boob. Oh. So, like, I have to move my arm up. Gotcha. I've so. never played with boobs. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. How do you think it goes like that? Uh, you have to hit it lower. Yeah. Ooh, that one went up. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Well, it went pretty far. Remember, it's all in the hips. Whoa, look at that. That was good. That was really good. I know. Okay, so last time this happened, I'm shooting for Tim because we mixed up our name, but it said your next ball is worth double points, and then I hit it in and it didn't count it. It like what? bounced in one thing and then into another hole. What the heck? So now I have to hit it. Let me hit this one and then I'll let you do my next one. Okay, all in the hips. I feel like if I say that to you, you do better. So just remember, it's all in the hips. Oh, look at that. Right in, directly into the hole. Your points have been doubled. What does it say? Point six. six. Did I get 12? No, you got six. <laughs> oh, I want to get 12. I think you should hit it into, you see that very last one out there, the like white one? The white one? Yeah, do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, I believe in you. I don't believe in you. No, you can do it. Yeah, I got scared. Oh, no. Did you do it? What's that, what's that called? When you hook it or you slice it? Anyway, you slice it or dice it. But I, I, I've been doing that recently. Is that called a hook or a slice? I don't know. I wonder how far it would have gone if you hadn't hit it all the way to the fence. Well, you know? I mean, you can see it tells us it went 80 or 91 <laughs> yards. No, I know, so but the fence stopped it. it. It at least went to the green. So like, We ordered was, some donuts. I was almost out there. Nice. Oh no, wait, this is where we are. Over no, here. you were you were over here. Like you were at the yeah, fence. Yeah, it told me that it went 91 yards. Oh, I see. So like this is where it was. So you have to hit it twice as far. <laughs> All right, Jen. This is your last ball of this round. Yeah. You gotta make it count. Give your hips a little waggle. And then, yep, there it is. It's all in the hips. Oh, that was beautiful. It shot straight up in the air and it went past the red one. <laughs> we got some donut holes. These look pretty tasty. Yeah, what's this for? It's just to like hold them in place. Oh, gotcha. And we got Boston cream and we got chocolate to inject in them. I guess maybe we should have done two chocolates, you're right. What the heck? Well, he said originally, he's like, do we have to get the cream? And I, I think we should have done two chocolates. Yeah. The little guys back out there. Oh no, now that he saw that I'm filming, he's gonna try harder. Yeah. Figure it out. How'd you do? Terrible. No, I think you made it in. Look. Went into the sand oh no. Ding ding. But your ball went 86 miles an hour. That doesn't matter if it doesn't go the right direction. <laughs> do 
you want to eat some donuts to drown your sorrows? Yeah. Okay. They look so good. They're let's see if let's see if he if he does it too. Very crispy. Oh no, he knew. What? I didn't know there was a lid, and I was like, why isn't this working? Oh no. <laughs> That's not enough. It needs more chocolate. Of oh. Is it good? Are you filling your donut with mayonnaise? I think I am. This is like um, when you wanted to put mayonnaise in that jug. Yeah, except for you're putting mayonnaise in a donut. Mm. It doesn't really fill it up. What the heck? I'll fill one up for you. I'll show you how it's done. They're making everybody stop hitting the balls as they come real close to pick them up. This is pretty awesome. We get a close up shot of how like the ball picker upper works. We are all done playing golf, but I wanted to show you guys some of the Top Golf merch. I like this. You can get a Top Golf shot glass. Oh, they Ooh, are. That's so strange. So you can drop them and they don't break. Wow. Is this a rubber shot glass too? Yeah. Huh. I just wonder like can you wash this? Yeah, I mean if it's if it's silicone, it should be able to handle it. I guess so, yeah. Wow. That's neat. Hmm. Who knew? I mean, Jen knew, but I didn't. Oh, you get some fancy golf socks. So before we came, Tim said, should we dress up in our golf clothes and wear our tall socks? And I was like, no, nobody does that. Everybody does it. Apparently they do. And look at all of the people working here were, are doing it. You're gonna need bigger socks. Yeah, this is all Stance brand too. What is that? It's like a good sock brand, isn't it? Maybe it's just a crazy sock brand. Oh, look, it's like Oh, it's Top Golf brand socks. Oh my gosh, look at these, they're Disney. Oh yeah. That's cute. And they're Snow White. That's not the right colors. I know, but still. Who's this guy? He's the Top Golfer. Oh, I think he's an actual golfer. Bubba Watson. Is that Bubba Watson? That's what it says, right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh there's Chewy. Chewy. Aww. He looks scary. He's like the Chewy from the Christmas special. Oh no. Oh no, look, there's Han Solo and Carbonite. These are and cool. Darth Vader? They actually do feel really nice. They're super thick. Wow. I think that there's like a special, like if you look at these over here, they have like special breathable spots in them. These are cool. Oh yeah, look at those. They're um, $18 socks. That's uh, some high quality socks. Wow. Jen, do you want a bedazzled Top Golf shirt? It's pretty fancy. I bet you there's somebody in here right now wearing this. Maybe. Look at this one though. This is like a, an Under Armour workout shirt. Nice. I wear this. Oh yeah. Are these golf balls? They're like smooth though. No, they're not. They just look smooth. I don't understand what is going on here. What are these things? What is who's, this a golf mitt for ants? Whose hands are this small? Um, are you making fun of people with tiny hands? No. Don't do that. Don't I was shame just them. asking who has this small of hands. This is probably the cheapest thing in here. It's only eight bucks. Oh yeah. This is just a koozie that looks like a sock. These are fun. Look, it says, I lure fishing. They also have one for Tupaca. So there you have it. That was our trip to Top Golf. We didn't win any of the games. Our friends won both of the games. I know, what the heck? Well, they're good and we were not so good. I'm terrible, <laughs> but still had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. And the food was really good. We even got to take some donuts home. And I feel like every time I come here, I try to get better and I don't accomplish that goal well i think you you tried to teach me how to be better and i just can't remember it oh no like in the moment i can't unless you're literally standing there telling me okay now do this now do this i'm just never gonna be good never gonna one be day we're gonna come to top top golf so much that you're gonna get good i don't think i could afford it it's so expensive pretty expensive it's about uh so it was forty dollars so there's a car coming right for us so we got here around four and it's $40 an hour, but then we played until after five and at five it goes to $50 an hour. So yeah. it was for the four of us, it was $90 for us to play. Just for the golf. And then the food, the, the food was like an additional 40 bucks, I think. Yeah. So it was a pretty expensive trip, but it always is. So if you come to Top Golf, just know you're gonna probably definitely spend over a hundred bucks. Right, but you do have to remember that if you come with six people. Yeah, you can make at, it a cheap date. You know, like a hundred dollars for two hours. Yeah. Divided by six people is not bad. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, all in all, yeah. fun day. So, with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.